Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and I want to show you how you can install the Daler exhaust control module into your BMW. All right, guys, let's talk about this project a little bit before we do it and why this is something you would want to do to your BMW. Now, there's two different versions of this module. There's the single exhaust flap or the double or dual exhaust flap. We're going to be installing the, the double today, but it's going to be the exact same process if you have a single. So make sure you check out and get the right, the, actually the right product for your car. But BMW give, only gives you limited control of your exhaust valve flap. So if you're in comfort or, or, or uh, efficient mode, it'll usually be closed. If you go into sport mode, it, in theory, it opens. But especially in some of the G80s, if you look, it actually doesn't even open all the way. It only opens it, it, when you hit the accelerator pedal. Does it blip open for a moment, then closes. So you're not actually getting full control of your exhaust valve flap. What's really cool about this module is it's very easy plug and play. It won't void your, void your warranty in any way. It's a really easy install and something you can take out later if you want to or if you change cars. This module is good for the dual exhaust F series and dual exhaust G series. So it works all the way across. Gives you a bunch of cool additional functionalities like memory settings on your exhaust flap. Gives you a remote control, which is really cool. You can even program it into your mirror. Make sure to check out that, that video as well of how to program. Now, before we get started, one additional thing I wanna point out with my quick jacks here over my shoulder. You could possibly do this without putting your car in the air, but it definitely would be harder. So we're gonna get the car up in the air today. Whenever I do this, I'm always gonna say this every time. You're gonna to need to jack and jack stands or quick jacks or, or ramps, something similar, but be careful while you do it. Don't bet your life on a jack. You know, put one side up and without a jack stand, don't bet your life on a 50 cent part because it can fail. I've seen it happen. Your car will come down and be damaged. Best case scenario, your car will be damaged. Worst case scenario, you were under the car. <laughs> so don't do that, all right? So the very first thing we're gonna do is get, get the car up in the air with, with my quick jacks back here over my shoulder, and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're looking back at this gorgeous M3. So this is stock exhaust and with the stock valve controllers. Now, there's lots of aftermarket exhaust out there as well that reuse the same controllers, and if you've seen some of my other exhaust videos, you've seen that setup. But we're gonna crawl underneath here for a second, but I wanted you to see, so you've got one, valve controller on this side and one on this side. So really the whole goal of this is getting underneath the car, finding a good place to secure the Daler module here underneath and then run your cables in a safe fashion. It's really not that hard. You just wanna get the, get the car in the air and then find a good place. So let's slide underneath and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, y'all, so here we are on the passenger side of the car. I just want to show you an example of the controller. So here's your valve controller right here where the cable comes and plugs in, and we'll unplug it here in a second. And this is going to look the same on both sides. Now, this install is really, really simple, so it really comes down to a choice of where you want to install the, the control box for the, the Daler module, which I'll show you what it looks like here in a second away from the car before we install it. But all it is is just a box with the cables that are going to run to both of, both of the modules here. Here. So the big question is really for you is going to end up being where do you want to install the controller? Now you have a number of options. You could potentially pull the, your plastic and this is your wheel well plastic between your rear, your rear tire and the bumper. There's lots of space back here. If you pulled this plastic down and you could route the cables out through one side. But if you look, as we roll here towards the middle, you're going to see your central heat shield right here. You notice and it's already loose a little bit because I took a bolt off. <laughs> Didn't come that way. But if you notice, there's this great void space right here and there's an opening right already right here in the heat shield. So if we actually put the box behind this heat shield, pull the cables out, safely keeping them away from your exhaust pipes and route them to both sides, it's going to be absolutely perfect. The box is waterproof and, and, and hard plastic, but you don't want it exposed where it might get hit by a rock or crack the plastic. It is is waterproof as well but in this place it's going to be shielded really nicely with the heat shield away from any radiant heat coming off your exhaust any rocks or any other damage so this really is in this m3 this f80 m3 in an ideal place to put it so what we're going to do if you'll notice we have right here we have these little these little hat nuts they look like hats these are 10 millimeter there's six of them one two three four five six with the three on the other side so go ahead and take those off 
You just take them off with a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter wrench. And then, and I've, I've taken most of them off already, but as you can see, this will start to sag. This whole piece, you don't even need to take it down because all we're gonna do is slide the box into this space and route the cables out through the hole. But before we do that, let me show you what the box itself looks like. All right, so let's take a look at the box here really quick before we get you know a little complicated or it's harder to see when it's up in that heat shield. But you're gonna route the cables to each side. So when you pull off the existing plug, which is gonna look just like that, you're gonna take the existing cable and plug it in here. So you'll take the male existing cable and plug it in this female, and then you're gonna plug the new male into the controller. That's it on each side. Now I'll show you exactly when we route the cables underneath. And we're gonna use zip ties to make sure that the cables are up and away in a safe location, but it really is that easy. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna have this be the downside, you know, against the heat shield when it's in that void space. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of, of 3M adhesive set right here so it'll stick down. Now, that space is just barely big enough for this box to fit into. So this box is not going to move really at all when we get it up in, the, in there, but I'm gonna give it one more little bit to make sure that it doesn't move around and stays nice and secure, but it really is that easy. All right, y'all, so I've gone ahead and pulled those six little hat nuts down, and now this, this heat shield piece is down and loose, and you can lay it really right across the top of your exhaust pipes. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is I've tucked the, the daler box up here already, and like I said, I added two adhesive strips on the back side so when, when we stick this down. And again, the box is gonna be over here in the middle uh, because that's the space where it'll fit nicely. But here's what the other thing you can do. You can also route your cabling where your heat shield is gonna protect it as well. So go ahead and take the cable, this guy, for the far side and route it all the way and out the other side. The cable for this side is gonna come out this side. So it's, it's going to be shielded by the heat shield the entire time. So the box will be in the middle and you'll have one cable coming out the side, one cable coming out the other side. And then you're only going to have, you know, four or five inches of cabling exposed for when you get over here uh, to the valve controller itself, because we'll route the cable out and right here, you know, maybe four, maybe five inches of exposed cable that we can zip tie up and it'll be really nice. All right. So as you can see, all the cables are all plugged in. It looks great. Uh, routed the cables around, like I mentioned a second ago. Now you have a couple of different options here. And like I said, this is the passenger side and the driver's side is essentially the same. You can route your cabling out here pretty tight out through the heat shield. Right now it's routed out a little bit higher. I can always tuck more of this cabling in and just be, be really nice and covered through the heat shield. You could also route out a little bit higher and use this wiring harness back here as a secondary secure point with more zip ties if you'd like. You can see right here in the middle, you can see the end of the box as well and the other and the cable comes out the other side and it's exactly the same and all plugged in and good to go. So as far as installation, this is pretty much it and you're done. I just need to tighten down the, the hat nuts that are here because they're still a little bit loose and then zip tie these cables and you're, and you're good to go. All right, guys, we are all done. So everything's all zip tied and secured. Quit one quick last view here before we put the car back on the ground. But this really is a fantastic place to install this. Now, every car is going to be different, but for this uh, F80, this really couldn't be better in this perfect central position, protected by the heat shield, easy to route the cables to both sides. Slide over here a little bit and look at this side, but all good to go when you see the cable coming out. This really is a fantastic, easy install. It's completely reversible. It's not like you're reprogramming or coding your car to get this done. And so we'll fire the car up here really quick. We'll try it out. We'll show you the, the open and close of, of the remote control fob. Make sure to check out my other video. I'll have another video on how you can program your uh, remote access mirror to actually to, to behave just like the fob. So if you didn't want to carry their fob around, uh, you'll, have, you'll have your mirror program. So make sure to check that out. But this has a lot of really cool functionality. This is good to go. All right, y'all, so the moment of truth. So here we are, so back down on the ground, everything's all installed, and I wanna give you just some quick samples of the functionality and what it sounds like and the differences. So let's go, let's go with start. All right, so that's gonna be your default, the, you know, your comfort or efficient mode, what that sounds like now. You can even use the remote now to change it if you want to. So if you listen really closely, if you hear the exhaust sound actually changed and you can hear that the valve actuator is opening so even in comfort or in comfort or efficient mode you can get a little bit more growl <laughs> yeah so you can tell that makes quite a bit of difference so now we can even close it back again 
and you can tell how much it quiets down. So if you're kind of maybe that early in the morning neighbor friendly mode, if you're coming out of your neighborhood. So now if we go up to sport mode, let's see what it sounds like by default. <laughs> so a little bit more growly. And again, now we can open, open up the flap all the way. So even in sport mode, you can tell that it makes quite a bit of difference in how it controls that exhaust flap. So just like we can see, that this will open it up fully instead of only the partial opening that you get out of default. So this can give you quite a bit of difference in your car and a lot more manual control of your modes that you think that you'd have normally with some of your sport mode or your exhaust flap, flap mode, but you actually really don't. This is why this dealer, this dealer option is so cool. All right, guys, all done. And as you can tell, this is such an easy install to do. It really takes almost no tools if it wasn't for that 10 millimeter socket on those little hat nuts. Now, and again, you gotta make sure to get your car in the air. Always be safe when you do that. But I am really excited about this and the difference it can make and give you a lot more control over your car. So thank you to Daler for making such a fantastic product. I am really excited about this and the install couldn't be easier. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to click subscribe and the little alarm bell. It makes a huge difference to my channel and I have a ton of projects coming soon, including the how to program your, your mirror with the Daler remote so you can make it even easier and you don't even necessarily have to have the key fob with you, which is really, really nice. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next project.